morning folks, this is Ken Krishnendu from Throttle Quest. We have been riding this uh, motorcycle, Ducati gave us this motorcycle, we have been riding this for the past 4 days. So we came to a place near uh, Jaipur called Moreja. Well, let me give you a quick overview of this motorcycle. This is the Ducati Multistrada 950. It has exactly the same engine as the Super Sport S. On paper, it is the same specs, almost. I mean, the difference is just 1 Nm of torque. This is 1 Nm of torque less. However, when you're actually riding it, the difference between this and the Super Sport S is punch that you get when you're, op when you're opening the throttle. I'm not saying that this is less punch or anything, but the feel is completely different. Uh, look at the front of this motorcycle. It is a terrific look. It looks fantastic. Now, uh, the front, when we ask people which one they like between this and Super Sport, the attention was divided into 50-50. Going under the suspension, this is supposed to be a sports tourer. Uh, well, not a sports tourer, but you know, a dual purpose motorcycle part let me tell you we we got stuck in the sand but not with this motorcycle I managed to go through the front wheel you have it shot with 19 inches a 19 inch rim these are spokes and this is strict spoking because you're using tubeless tires uh, the rear tire is a 17 inch also with spokes and this is also trick spoking because you're here also you're using uh, tubeless tires uh, this is the riding posture. This is not the riding posture, but this is the way when you're sitting. My feet are almost flat on the ground. Excuse me for the uh, attire because right now I'm not riding the motorcycle, it's just to show you. Almost yeah, flat on the ground with boots, it's almost flat. This is my riding posture. When I'm riding, I don't have to crouch or anything. For me, this is a very comfortable riding posture. As I said, this is supposed to be a dual sport, uh, dual purpose motorcycle. Now, look at the front suspension travel. I'll just move it a bit for you. Now this is extremely good for when for very bad roads that you often that you may often encounter in in riding in India. Yesterday we were going through some off-road terrain and you know I was uh, standing up and, and opening up the throttle and uh, I was doing at times 70 kilometers an hour on totally tarmacless roads. It was perfectly fine till the time we reached sand. Now when we reached the sand, of course I was at that time riding on the enduro mode. I will soon show you the different modes of this motorcycle the power was cut down and in the sand it did get stuck I clutched I opened the clutch and opened the throttle we started spinning a little bit but the traction control coming into play it was it was pretty good because I managed to go through the sand the super sport got beached totally like it was bad but this one we made it I mean the technology did help me get through the sand of course at the end of a kilometer of sand we I somehow managed to I was sweating at the end of the day but but it did manage to get through. I wouldn't say this is an all and out off-road, it is not. Uh, it can take you to speedy, it can take you to a lot of places, but it will not take you through maybe mud and stuff like that. But this is this pretty good. Now let me show you the, the instrument console. As you can see, it's on sport mode. I'm always on sport mode. Until and unless I'm going into terrain that I know for sure it will be too much of power. Now you have two switches here. One is of course this is for high beam and low beam and this is for the power beam. This is to toggle between various modes on the instrument uh, cluster. Now this toggle switch when you click it up it changes the range here. It, I mean it changes this this part. You see you, you have the range then you have the trip time. This is the time which is 8.16 pm actually it's 8.16 am but, but let's not get into am and pm like the Thompson's in Tintin. And uh, this is the total odometer to 3900 kilometers. This is trip one. This is what we have done so far and this is trip 2 this is what we have done since the last time I filled in uh, petrol now because we are talking about petrol my motorcycle the Multistrada riding at approximately around 100 120 most of the time at times of course we are zipping my motorcycle is giving me 21 kilometers to, kilometers to a liter which is I think pretty reasonable now if I toggle if I toggle the switch back down like that it shows the differences here Constant average 4.6, and then this is not showing because I'm not riding. This is the average speed 56 kilometers per hour. That's the speed that you more or less do in on highways in India. And then you have the air temperature. This is the coolant temperature. This is the air temperature. I'm toggle it down, and I get back to constant average. Now I'm getting back to the switch gear here. You see, you'll see here enter left right. Of course, left right. This is for the this is for the blinkers. But when you want to change your riding modes, you just press it in, and you see here sport is blinking okay now I want to get back to tour oh it's well I'll, I'll press it in again sports sport is blinking and then I toggle it with this switch here I toggle it up and down and you'll see them changing between sport and touring then to urban and then to enduro the enduro is the lowest power 
and I toggle it up back to urban, back to touring, back to sport. And when it's that sport or whichever mode you want to choose, you just keep this pressed enter and it's, and it's done. You're set. You're set for life. Sport mode for you. This is the hazard light. It's a little inconvenient when you're see it's, it's it's pretty stiff while riding it's pretty inconvenient i would rather have something in which i can press now this is the kill switch as well as the start button which is a little different from what you have on regular motorcycles when you have a start button here but this is well it's killed now this is it's ready to start and then you that's how you start the motorcycle and i'll give you the a little bit of the engine notes the tachometer just look at the tachometer and see the uh, the throttle response I'm barely touching the, the throttle since we were traveling on a kind of long trip and multiple days we decided to put on the panniers which Ducati India very generously provided uh, for us now these are extremely important if you're traveling for multiple days because you can really put in your photographic equipment the drones the cameras and and of course your clothes because you're coming to a nice place you need to carry good clothes with you now but at the same time just let me show you that you know it takes up a lot of space yeah if you're not used to riding with panniers it can be pretty uh, intimidating it can be pretty awkward it can be pretty not easy in uh, stop go traffic while you are going in you know congested lanes like you have in several places in India in several cities and villages because it does happen that when you are going and you're not aware that how broad the motorcycle suddenly becomes because in the front it's not so broad though you know if you see the line it's exactly the same line as handlebar guards yeah it's almost exactly the same line but since for 40 years i'm riding a motorcycle now almost you don't have this notion of carrying a panniers behind you it does create awkward moments at times what is more important is the riding dynamic change because these panniers are four kilos each so that puts in an additional weight of 12 kilos and i'll show you something they're very easy to use you know like that you open it I'll show you, it shows that maximum weight is uh, 5 kilos and maximum speed is 180 kilometers an hour when you have the panniers with you. Now, this picked up all of Bobby stuff. The other two panniers I was using to pick all of my stuff, which means that we are easily carrying something like 30, kilo, 30 kilos extra weight load and it definitely changes the riding dynamics. It definitely uh, changes the riding dynamics, the way you are leaning or, I mean, you don't lean much with these motorcycles on highways, uh, but still it does, you know, create a lot of problems with the crosswinds. When you're overtaking a truck and then the crosswind suddenly hits you after you're overtaking a truck. Other than that, you know, they're extremely useful and very easy to use. You just clip on, clip off. There's a key here. There are keys everywhere. You can lock your stuff. You can carry it with you. Do what you feel like. It's pretty well designed, extremely well designed. There's no doubt about that. If you feel that you are kind of lacking your near exercise because <laughs> because you've been out for a few days and not going to the gym what you do is just take them off pick them up both and do your L raises you know lateral raises for your delts so that would be all the rest everything you know the belt cell missiles you have everything you have the ABS you have uh, eight uh, traction control and modes and then you have the ABS also so all that is pretty much standard we don't even look at those things because those these days all motorcycle comes come with these things fantastic engine okay till I mean you really begin to feel the punch from 3500 let's say it's a linear torque and all of that well it's it's kind of linear but at 3500 to feel a punch because it's an L twin and always the fun of riding a twin is of on these motorcycles is, is, is pretty pretty much you know invigorating you know when you ride this motorcycle it's like that whereas the other one it goes like that <laughs> A lot of fun though riding these motorcycles and let me tell you awesome lookers I mean you can see it looks terrific it looks fantastic these are very well priced and fantastically designed designed motorcycles you really enjoy them owning them riding them going to places this will take you to a lot of places so signing up from here Good morning folks, we come to the end of our uh, tour with the wonderful Ducatis. If you want to tour, this 
I mean, there are very few motorcycles currently which will come close to this. You need those panniers. We stuffed in luggage into that. We were cruising on the highways at 160 kilometers an hour. It was an absolute joy. I would say, folks, go for it. If not, go to Ducati and take a test ride. You will know what I'm talking about. It's absolutely fantastic.